For this week's topic, I will going to discuss circuit training. Circuit training is a form of body conditioning that involves endurance training, resistance training, high intensity aerobics, and exercises performed in a circuit, similar to high intensity interval training. It targets strength building and muscular endurance. An exercise circuit is one completion of all set exercises in the program. When one circuit is completed, one begins the first exercise again for the next circuit. Traditionally, the time between exercises in circuit training is short and often with rapid movement to the next exercise. Typical activities in a circuit training A circuit should work each sections of the body individually. Typical activities include For the upper body Push-ups Bench dips Back extensions Medicine ball chest pass Bench press Incline press up For core and trunk Sit-ups for lower abdominal Stomach crunch for upper abdominal Back extension, chest raise. For lower body, squat jumps, compass jumps, astride jumps, step ups, shuttle runs, hopping shuttles, bench squats. Then for the total body, we have burpees, treadmills, squat thrusts, skipping, and jogging. Effects of Circuit Training Studies at Baylor University and the Cooper Institute show that circuit training is the most time-efficient way to enhance cardiovascular fitness and muscular endurance. Studies show that circuit training helps women to achieve their goals and maintain them longer than the other forms of exercise or diet. A summary of one study noted the following. Perhaps a most profound finding of this study from a health perspective is that this investigation clearly shows that performance, this circuit of exercises, this level of intensity elicited oxygen consumption values 39% to 51.5% of VO2 max that meet established guidelines of the American College of Sports Medicine or the ACSM. For the recommended intensity, 40% to 85% of VO2 max of exercise for developing and maintaining cardiorespiratory fitness. Thus, this circuit not only provides a suitable muscular fitness stimulus but also helps to meet ACSM, Cardiovascular Guidelines and the newly published Dietary Guidelines for Americans 2005 for Physical Activity. One advantage is that reduced station times will encourage the participants to lift heavier weights, which means they can achieve overload with smaller number of repetitions, typically in a range of 25 to 50 depending on their training goals. Advantages of Circuit Training Boredom and time constraints are frequently cited reasons for giving up on a fitness routine. Circuit training offers a practical solution for both. It's a creative and flexible way to keep exercise interesting and saves time while boosting cardiovascular and muscular fitness. You burn a decent amount of calories too. In a one-hour circuit training session, a 150-pound person burns about 308 calories at a moderate intensity and 573 calories at a vigorous intensity. 
because the exercises can be performed in any sequence, you can create an endless number of combinations and design every workout to match your mood or specific training goal. Participating in a group circuit training class is a great way to discover new exercises you might not have tried on your own. Example program for circuit training. For the station 1, sit-ups. Station 2, step-ups. Station 3, press-ups. Station 4, squats. Station 5, dorsal press. Station 6, shuttle runs. Station 7, seated dips. Station 8, burpees. Station 9, bent arm pullovers. And the last station is the straddle jumps.